one, dude. Someone's obviously set fire to this. It's fresh as well, like that's just happened. I can smell it really badly. But like all the back of it's burnt and then you get to the front and obviously they've put it out before it got to the front. And that must have been either last night or early this morning. All the glass has been smashed. The steering wheel. In fact, that's really strong. Like, it smells really, really strong. Look at the tyres, fuck. I saw this little bit over it as well. I don't know what that's all about. It's like a ribbon. It's been burnt. People are just staring at me like crazy, but ooh, I'm stood on it. Fucking hell. The crumb is finally done. I put all the mods I finally want on it, which I'll talk about in another video. I'll do like a full mods video for it. But it's finally done. I've got all the crash protection on. So hopefully, as soon as I find a place, uh, that I can do some weedies. I can get started to do some proper weedies instead of my little baby ones. <laughs> it's really weird because that's all I really wanted to show you. And then I, I came across this car and I thought I'd show you that as well. <laughs> oh, and when I got, I got a, a mechanic to probably like do everything. Uh, I don't know why, I just couldn't be asked to do it myself. So I got him to put it on, the crash protection. And uh, well, he fixed my exhaust so it doesn't pop flames anymore. Apparently there was like a gasket missing or something. So uh, it's a bit deeper toned now and a little bit louder but it doesn't pop flames anymore and it doesn't pop which makes me really sad but um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do now I didn't really have a plan for this video I just <laughs> kind of don't want to show you that I got my crown protection on finally um, actually I'll show you all the problems I had like why it's taken me so long to uh to finally get everything on so I'll be back <laughs> alright so why it took me so long to actually finally get all the mods on so obviously we'll start with this section I've got some area 22 uh, I stood in the mud I've got some area 22 clamps with the handlebars easy they did took about an hour to install maximum all of basically all of this from that whole front bit took about two hours to install however Indicators, indicators, I'm gonna sneeze, <laughs> were a pain in the ass, and I hold my hands up, it was my fault, I bought some cheap stuff, hoping it would work, and it didn't work, so, let's have a look, so, this was the first thing I got, I paid something like 40 quid for these, something ridiculous like that, plus they came from America, so I had to pay, pay a, like, 20 quid extra, uh, import tax on them. So 60 quid for these crappy indicators. Plugged them in, they didn't work. We had to play around with them, open wires, soldering, everything we were trying to get these to work. Because they're LED, when I would turn the indicator on, instead of them flashing, they would say solid on and just stay solid instead of flashing. If that makes sense, right? So we thought, oh, I don't, never mind, what we'll do is we'll try this bit which is the integrated tail light that I bought this would go here it'd be a bright light uh, these are LEDs as well indicator that side indicator that side and still have the bright light which I was thought really cool which got rid of all the indicators so it wouldn't matter if I broke same thing happened to them when we went to put the indicator on it wouldn't flash it was a solid on read into it a little bit and I needed a new relay so I ordered one new relay Wrong relay, didn't work. At this point, we're about three weeks in. And I got none of these parts on. I had to keep taking the bike apart, trying to get all the indicators to work. Nothing would work. So I was like, do you know what? I've had enough of these indicators and crappy stuff because they kept falling apart as well. Um, like the brake light, we had that brake light on for, for a little while and it just broke on us. I gave them that, bought all RNG stuff. So this is RNG indicators, same on the back. Um, and because the indicators didn't work, because I bought a Pacific tail tidy with it, I I had to buy a whole new tail tidy, so I had to buy a new tail tidy. Didn't realise it was actually exactly the same one as this, just RNG. But oh well, doesn't matter. Um, this feels this one's actually a lot heavier than the RNG one for some reason. Don't ask why. And when I did that, I bought a new relay as well. Um, which, if you're having the same problem with your indicators, 
and go down in the description i'll put this relay in because that relay fixed everything for me uh and it allows indicators led indicators on the front and the back and well i've just got the stock uh tail light now but it probably work with the stock uh, i can led stock tail light as well so that relay saved my life so thank you relay and yeah then finally when we got the tail tidy on i put the crap with the rear crash protection on and then yesterday put the last bit of crash protection on because for some reason we couldn't get the bolt off so he cleaned out all the bolts and everything and while he was at it fixed my exhaust which didn't really fix it because i like the flames but oh well uh and scratched the shit out of it as well on the top of the thing not on this side but the other side but yeah that, that's that's why it's taken me so long to finally get this Grom sorted. I also took this bit off and I've put it back on now just because when I went through loads of mud, <laughs> loads of mud, it just, like the bike got covered in it, so I put it back on. But yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> Problems with bikes. I must have taken this bike apart about eight or nine times because basically the whole tail light section's all under this. That's the whole indicator and tail light bit so there's bolt there bolt there bolt there bolt there fucking loads of bolts that you have to take off to take off all this fairing this bit's got to come off this bit's got to come off to take all this off so you can play around with it basically which was a pain in the ass but it's like a really nice day today so i think i'm just gonna go around bump on the ground for a little bit <sighs> lug this crap around with me but then it looks good now. I was actually thinking about getting like the whole fairings uh, wrapped gold, like that kind of gold on the forks. I thought it'd be pretty mint, but you're looking at quite a lot of money to get that wrapped. So it might be a job to do in the future, depending on how long I keep this gone, and depends how long it takes me to smash it up. <laughs> but yeah, finally got that shit on. It also, it might sound different to your Grom, if you have a Grom. That's because the exhaust is actually bouncing off the <laughs> the number plate because of the, the crash section. But, oh well, look at it flap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the Grom. It's a fun bike. It will never beat the KTM in styling and sexiness. But it definitely wins in... Gigliness. Coming through, Mimi. So I take it through some trails. My old school trails that I took the KTM through. Should we do it? I'm gonna do it. Oh, and I realised the the, uh, the rear-facing camera doesn't really like the Grom because of how much it vibrates. But oh well. Squirrel! Well, okay, squirrel. Ow! Squirrel. I don't know why. Ow! I got fly in my eye. Oh, that shit as well. I don't know why I always wear my expensive helmet through the trails, but oh well. Never you mind. Oh, it's getting a bit bumpy, isn't it? It's a little bit bumpy! <laughs> I don't normally go... I don't normally go this way through the trails. crying because of that fly. <laughs> we almost lost it. This is a bit boggy, I might have to sit down for this to get a bit of traction on the rear tyre. It is. I can feel it sliding all over the shot. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Grom. I love you Ewok, I really do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buggy, buggy, buggy. That looks buggy as hell. That way. That's how I go away this week. Too much better. It's very foggy. Oh, I hurt my bum. It's the big boys. Hello, G <laughs> let's roll with this. <laughs> New squad. <laughs> We're squadding up, boys. I'm rolling with y'all. Oh, the GoPro died. <laughs> Freaking mud at me, you bastard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Squad rolling up. On a Tuesday. Mate, their tyres are bigger than I am. <laughs> 